picture on my mirror Start to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction I go the other way Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kaylin and we are back with another video. This video is basically a book haul. Um, I got some diverse reads that I plan on adding to my 2024 TBR and I just wanted to go through them all with you because I haven't seen anyone talk about any of these books except one book and I don't know if I've heard anyone talk about them recently. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six books that I want to share with you guys. These books I will get to at some point hopefully throughout the year I don't know when but I just wanted to share them with you so that you guys can you know have a little bit more books to read so the first book is actually a series there are three books in this series I have not read any of them but I have two I don't know if the last one came out I think the last one came out last year so this is black girls must die exhausted by Jane Allen I was gonna read this book originally with a book club but I just never got I never got around to it so this is a about Tabitha Walker is a black woman with a plan to have it all. At 33, the checklist for the life of her dreams is well underway. Education, check. Good job, check. Down payment for a nice house, check. Dating marriage material, check, check, and check. With a coveted position as a local news reporter, paper perfect boyfriend, and even a standing Saturday morning appointment with a reliable hairstylist, everything seems to be falling into place. Then Tabby receives an unexpected diagnosis that brings her picture perfect life crashing down, jeopardizing the dream she took for granted, having children. Suddenly she is faced with an impossible choice between her career, her dream home, and a family of her own. With the help of her best friends, the irreverent and headstrong Layla and Alexis, the mom jeans wearing former sexy Lexi and the generational wisdom of her grandmother and her firebrand friend Miss Gretchen, Tabby explores the reaches of modern medicine and tests the limits of her relationships, hoping to salvage the future she always dreamed of. But the fight is all-consuming, demanding a steep price that forces a reckoning for nearly everyone in her life. As Tabby soon learns, her grandmother's age-old adage just might be true. Black girls must die exhausted. So a young black woman must rely on courage, laughter, and in love and the support of her two longtime friends to overcome an unexpected setback that threatens the most precious thing she's ever wanted. So obviously this book might have some triggers so just be mindful of that and look them up before reading but I am excited to get into this book. The next book we have is Big Chicas Don't Cry by Annette Chavez Macias. I don't really know if that's how you say it but cousins Marie, Erica, Selena, and Gracie are inseparable. They aren't just family but best friends sharing secrets, traditions, and a fierce love for their abuelita. But their idyllic childhood ends when Marie's parents divorce, forcing her to move away. With Marie gone, the girl's tight-knit bond unravels. 15 years later, Marie's got the big house and handsome husband, but her life is in shambles. Erica's boyfriend just dumped her and her new boss hates her. Selena can't seem to find her place in the world, not Mexican enough for her family, not white enough for her colleagues, and Gracie is a Catholic school teacher with an all-consuming crush, but she can't trust herself when it comes to romance. As rocky as the cousins' lives have become, Come, nothing can prepare them for the heartbreaking loss of a loved one. When tragedy reunites them, will they remember their abuelitas lessons about family and forgiveness or are 15 years of separation too much to overcome? So this I just thought sounded really good. I'm trying to incorporate more books that are kind of like have more real issues and like just real life stuff because it's nice to have like the fluffy reads and the romances and stuff but I'm kind of looking for books to add in throughout the year that will kind of give me different perspectives on life and things that I can learn personally and also like incorporate in my life so that's that seems like that's going to be a really good one and then the next book I have is clap when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo that's how you say it and like just these covers like are you kidding me all these covers are gorgeous they're, they're gorgeous and the rest of them are too so also the covers played a big role in me um picking these up but also the descriptions Camino Rios lives for the summers when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic but this time on a day when his plane is supposed to land Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of people crying in New York City Yeheros Rios is called to the principal's office where her mother is waiting to 
tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. Separated by distance and Poppy's secrets, the two girls are forced to face a new reality in which their father is dead and their lives are forever altered. And then, when it seems like they've lost everything of their father, they learn of each other for the first time. So I just thought that this this just sounded like, yes, it's heavy and it has a lot of stuff going on, but like, I'm interested to see like the sisters' relationships and how they come together through this hard time and like what goes on and what happens and why aren't they as close and you know why don't they have that relationship so I'm interested in reading this one y'all bear with me because um I can't say people's names apparently I can't read today so the next book I have is You Truly Assumed by Layla Sabrine or Sabrine like I'm telling you these covers are crazy they're beautiful so sabria is devastated or sabria is devastated when a terrorist attack rocks the u.s and stirs anti-islamic sentiment she takes solace in writing in her private online journal you truly assumed only to discover it isn't private after all and there are many others out there like her zakat knows finding a kindred voice online is fate yet when her own haven is vandalized zakat wonders if she'll ever feel safe again Farah doesn't want to visit her father in his new family but sometimes a change of place brings a change of heart for Farah, for the boys she might love and for the new friends she meets through you truly assumed when threatening comments and emails try to silence them the three black muslim girls must decide shut things down and stay safe or risk it all and let their voices be heard so i just thought that that would be interesting to read i'm trying to just you know diversify my reading but this cover i was like oh yeah that that i need to get into that so next i have i am not your perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. And this, this cover was just intriguing to me. So perfect Mexican daughters do not go away to college. They do not move out of the parents' house after high school graduation. Perfect Mexican daughters never abandon their family. But Julia is not your perfect Mexican daughter. That was her sister Olga's role. Then a tragic accident leaves Olga dead and Julia reassembling the shattered pieces of her family. And no one seems to acknowledge that Julia is broken too. Instead, her mother channels her grief into pointing out every possible way Julia has failed. But it's not long before Julia suspects that Olga might not have been as perfect as everyone thought. With the help of her best friend Lorena and her first love, first everything Connor, Julia is determined to uncover the truth. Was Olga really what she seemed and how can Julia even attempt to live up to a seemingly impossible ideal? So that just seemed like very interesting too because I feel like it's just like all these cultures like everyone's culture is different and kind of just like the expectations that families and parents and stuff place on on their kids and if you go outside of the norm then what like you have to face everybody's disappointment or their opinions and stuff like that so with her being compared to her sister and everything like that just seemed like this was going to be really deep and just interesting i don't know i just felt like it was gonna be interesting then the last book i have is where wild peaches grow by Cade bentley and like this cover like i just these things are they're beautiful like are you kidding me beautiful in a deeply emotional novel of family cultural heritage and forgiveness a strange sisters wrestle with the choices they made and confront circumstances beyond their control nona peaches davenport abandoned by the man she loved and portrayed by family left her natchez mississippi home 15 years ago and never looked back she forged a promising future in chicago as a professor of african-american studies nona even finds her once closed heart persuaded by a new love but that's all shaken when her father's death forces her to return to everything she's tried to forget. Julia Curtis hasn't forgiven her sister for deserting the family. Just like their mother, Nona walked away from Julia when she needed her the most. And Julia doesn't feel guilty for returning to Nona's old flame, Marcus, for comfort. He helped Julia build a new life. She has a child, a career, and a determination to move on from old family wounds. Upon Nona's return to Natchez, a cautious reunion unfolds and everything Nona and Julia thought they knew about themselves, each other, and those they loved will be tested. Unpacking the truth about why Nona left may finally heal their frayed bond or tear it apart again forever. Like, I don't know y'all what kind of mood was I in when I was buying all these books because all these books are like, they are heavy. But I have such 
such a passion for like mental health and psychology that these books were just very appealing to me. I just, I don't know, I just love mental health. I love um, learning and understanding why people feel the way they do, why they act the way they do, why certain situations cause people to change and like that's just like the, psych the psychology of it all. So these books are probably, you know, that part of my personality coming out of those things like it, these just all seem like real life things and i'm interested for each and every one of these and what they're gonna be like i don't know and i haven't heard anyone talk about these um i haven't really done any like heavy searching or anything but if you have read any of these let me know what you thought down below and yeah i'm just excited to add them to my 2020 or tbr and i'm excited to get into them and let you guys know how they are so as beautiful as the covers are none of them are very big i would say they're all just by glancing at them probably like around 350 pages 350 to 400 pages long um if that so yeah i am excited to add these all to my collection and i got some exciting stuff in the mail so just be ready for the videos that are to come so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that i was able to give you a book that might have piqued your interest and maybe something that you want to add to your tbr this year like i said if you read any of them heard about any of them let me know we can talk about it down below and i just thank you guys so much for watching this video my hair i just did my hair and it's still like kind of stiff so i'm waiting for it to to act right and do what it is that i needed to do but i already told y'all i'm coming with all the hairstyles y'all gonna see me just flip flopping it out all the time but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys